कम टू दिस सेशन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर केमिकल इक्विडियम सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर केमिकल इक्विडियम सो अंडर दिस इक्विडियम चैप्टर वील स्टडी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इक्विडियम वट इज इक्विडियम बेसिकली तो इक्विडियम मीन्स इफ ए बुक इज प्लेस्ड ऑन टेबल यू टेक ए बुक कीप इट ऑन द टेबल दैट बुक इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एन स्टेज ऑफ इक्विडियम सिमिलरली ए ट्रेन इज मूविंग विथ ए कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड so that train is also in equilibrium a top whirling with a constant speed that is also in equilibrium a ladder against wall it is lying against wall that is also in stage of equilibrium so these are the some position of the equilibrium or you can also say this uh, conditions uh, a bucket is being uh, filling by water and simultaneously same amount of water is coming throughout out there this means that the position of the level of the water is same all the time but this is actually not same why because a uh, water is coming out and same water is filling this means that the rate of filling by the uh, incoming water is equal to the rate of outgoing water so incoming rate is equal to the outgoing rate understood so i hope that in equilibrium you cannot see the change of any uh, system so the system not changing we are saying we are observing it is a constant that is called equilibrium so let us see this application in chemistry what is basically definition so it is the stage of a system equilibrium is a stage of a system in which system has a no tendency for the change without external stimulation so in his system has a no tendency similarly as we are seeing in coming water and outgoing water change was going on but we can see there is nothing change is going on and so there is no net change with time so with time there should not be change so as we have seen here so if we see with respect to time the level of water will be same all the time similarly uh, the speed of the moving train will be always same because speed is same a top whirling with the constant speed it is rounding along with the constant it is again same a book placed on the table is again a and a position of equilibrium so this is a state of the system which is which do not change with time without external if you remove hand on the books book can change but if you are not touching if you are not putting is giving any force on the books they will not change that is called a stage of equilibrium so in a in a state of uh, equilibrium equilibrium all the measurable variable measurable variable means uh, they are pressure temperature concentration and density etc are associated with system so with the system all these things are associated what things are associated again again i am repeating that is pressure temperature concentration density all these are measurable way which you can uh, measure but this having a always constant value and they does not change with time this pressure temperature concentration density they do not change with time if you are changing with time then that stage is not called as equilibrium now different types of equilibrium so on the basis of a small changes in external factors nature of process to attain equilibrium and uh, some other factors so on the basis of the small small things uh, there are different type of equilibrium so we'll see one is mechanical equilibrium next is thermal equilibrium uh, some is uh, uh, one more is thermodynamic equilibrium so let us see all these things one by one let us we will see only brief introduction and explanation of all these things basically we have to study thermodynamic equilibrium in detail let us see first what is meaning of mechanical equilibrium so mechanical equilibrium is when a gas confined to a cylinder by the piston and has the same pressure as that of the surrounding the system is in mechanical equilibrium with surrounding means in a cylinder uh, a piston is held for some with it is held it's not moving it is not going up it is not going down because they have the same pressure uh, with the surrounding and the inside the system so this is suppose system is there there is some piston is there so this piston is not going down not going up means the pressure inside the surrounding pressure inside the gas cylinder pressure outside the cylinder so pressure outside and pressure inside both are equal to each other this state is called as the mechanical equilibrium the equilibrium the equilibrium in which the position or the speed of the system do not change with time so it is not changing it can be uh, a static mechanical equilibrium like a, a static which, which is do not change with respect to time that is the it uh, ladder uh, which is placed before uh, with against a wall or with wall 
So when you put a ladder uh, against wall, it is not moving. That is called static mechanical equilibrium. There is one more equilibrium that is called dynamic. That means a train moving with a constant speed or I have given one uh, this just shown diagram that is uh, a water uh, which is uh, outgoing and same uh, rate of water also coming filling the uh, this uh, vessels so that the level becomes constant so this is called dynamic equilibrium dynamic equilibrium uh, next uh, equilibrium uh, equilibrium is thermal equilibrium so when a piece of a metal is at the same temperature as its surrounding it is called as in, it is in thermal equilibrium means uh, temperature of the metal uh, with the surrounding is equal to each other with this round in thermal equilibrium heat content or the temperature of the system become constant and heat taken and given by the systems are equal so the system is giving same amount of heat system is taking same amount of heat so both are equal to each other so this stage is called as thermal equilibrium similarly thermodynamic equilibrium so in this state of equilibrium a system loses its tendency for a change so system loses for tendency is change means system is changing and all the thermodynamic properties like uh, pressure volume temperature associated with the system become constant means other things will change but this will not be changing pressure volume temperature this is constant with the system then what will happen and do not vary without external stimulation or they do not change with time this is that this stage is called like this state is called as uh, called as thermodynamic equilibrium so on the basis of the nature of process in which the state of equilibrium is attained so on the basis of nature process there are two type of equilibrium we are attaining that is called physical equilibrium and next is called called, called as chemical equilibrium so what is physical equilibrium so it is an equilibrium achieved during physical process so during physical process we are achieving this equilibrium what are the physical process physical process are like a dissolution of salt evaporation of water or freezing of water at 0 degree centigrade so these are the physical equilibrium next is what is chemical equilibrium so chemical equilibrium it is an equilibrium achieved in chemical process such as decomposition of calcium carbon dioxide or reaction between hydrogen and iodine become constant at certain temperature like hydrogen plus iodine they are reacting they become hydrogen iodide and we are using this sign of equilibrium that is arrow double arrow one is this side, one, this is the half arrow, this side, half arrow, this side. This is a sign of equilibrium. There are some other terms used to describe the equilibrium. So those, uh, which are the those terms, let us see this one. One is called a static equilibrium that we have already seen. So it is an equilibrium state in which the property or factor responsible for establishment of equilibrium does not change with time. So here the other factor property is not changing with time. The, that stage is called as the static equilibrium. A little example, a duster placed on table or we can say a half bucket water placed on table. So this is a static equilibrium. Next is dynamic equilibrium. So in this changes occur but in opposite directions and the, at constant rate. So in dynamic equilibrium, motion that is or no change in any property or an equal magnitude or in a So motion is responsible for the establishment of equilibrium equilibrium most important it can be any direction it can be equal opposite this is the this is condition uh, in the dynamic the magnitude should be always equal but it, you can take it opposite direction so you can see here a moving top a bike riding in death wheel i know uh, when bikers are riding on the death wheels in the halfway what happens they are maintaining equilibrium so that equilibrium is actually dynamic equilibrium so you should note uh, down these points now our third uh, state is third type is called as meta stable equilibrium so if a system is in equilibrium attains a new equilibrium if a system which is in equilibrium again after something it, it will attain a new equilibrium why by disturbance only so it is disturbed by changing reaction conditions so that state is called as a it is a meta stable state like we have already seen the after uh, critical temperature the state of carbon dioxide in and the experiment was a meta stable state so it is holding a two states uh, that is called as a super saturated vapor state or super cool states so that state was the meta stable equilibrium states so in which the reaction condition was changing but we are getting two type of equilibrium so we can see here i have drawn diagram so what is static equilibrium what is dynamic equilibrium so this uh, 
a bucket of water is a half bucket of water or half vessel the level is constant so this is your static equilibrium but in this cases like the previous example the rate of incoming water is equal to rate of going water in both the cases levels are constant but this is dynamic this is the static equilibrium so under the equilibrium so it arises some interesting questions what are interesting questions one question is uh, what is the equilibrium state and how it is recognized how do you recognize this uh, equilibrium state so i hope that you understood these questions and one more thing what is the molecular behavior when the state of equilibrium is reached so when after the reaching this state of equilibrium what is the behavior of the molecules and what are the factors which alters the state of equilibrium so these are some questions which we will see under the equilibrium topic in coming topics coming uh, lectures so thank you